Now I've moved the timber down to the ponies. I've put the boring machine on. And I'll now bore the first peg hole all the way through both tenons because you can't draw a bore with four pegs. At least I haven't tried it. May be possible. So I'm going to bore all the way down until I feel the lead screw coming through the bottom. And I'm going to stop because I don't want to blow out the other side. And then I'll move over and I'll bore this one the same way. And then I'll finish with the uh, bit brace on the other side. So I'll uh, pick up uh, finishing with the bit brace on the other side after I bore these holes. Okay, so this is the peg hole bit with the spurs. I darkened in with the Sharpie the two points where the boring machine bit came through. I'm going to stick that right in that dimple. Again, turn backwards counterclockwise, press down hard until the, the wings score completely around the hole so it doesn't chip out because this is going to be the inside of the frame and we don't want to see a big chip there where the peg comes through. And then turn forward and clean out chips by pulling up hard while turning forward. Pull up hard. My goodness. There we go. No chip. Same thing. When I was down in Atlanta helping my friend Dave, we did this for a hundred and hundred and uh, hundred and thirty. I think there was six. No, it was more than sixty-five pegs. I don't remember exactly how many, but it was over a hundred and fifty holes, and I think we only chipped three on his frame. Which I think is a pretty good percentage. And they were up high so they didn't show. Uh, this one's a fight on oh, this soft pine. Clear all those chips. There we go. Now, I'm going to roll the timber twice. Actually, I can probably do it without rolling it twice. I have two pegs. Pound those in. This is dry oak, red oak, and this green pine repair piece is going to transfer moisture from one to the other. And they'll probably swell up and never get them apart. Now that it's in that position, I can take my handsaw and just trim off all four pegs. Flush with a piece. Right. 
And be careful when you're sawing off pegs that you don't saw into the side of your timber. Make a big saw mark. Some people saw them off and then pound them in a little bit. Saw them off and pound them back so they're just recessed a little bit. But these are nice and flush and I'm happy with that. To me, that repair is done. I hope you enjoyed it.